Hi friends, I hope you're doing well. Um, this is already week six of distant learning, which is super crazy, um, but I have some really exciting news. Um, I record these videos in advance, so you're not gonna see this till Monday, but this weekend I'm getting a puppy. I'm getting a new little German Shepherd puppy and I'm so excited. I can't wait to go pick her up. I'm really hoping my dog Bentley um, gets along with a puppy, so um, wish me luck there. But um, yeah, by the time you see this video, I will have a puppy at my house, so I will update you. I will send you pictures and probably videos and you'll probably get sick of it, but I am so excited. So that's kind of the exciting thing that's going on in my life right now. But anyways, um, I hope everyone feels caught up after last week. I gave you some kind of extra time just to make sure that you got the theme paper turned in. Um, this week, there's no school um, on Monday, so you have nothing to do Monday. On Tuesday, I just want you to go back, if you haven't done so already, go back into the theme paper submission and look at the feedback that I gave you and the different rubric scores. You should be able to see what you got on every section of the rubric and then your overall score and then the notes from me. So just make sure that you go back and look at that. Um, for Wednesday, uh, we are starting our last unit of the year, which is debates. And uh, Mrs. Onstead and I have done a lot of talking over the last few weeks about debates and how this is going to work. Um, basically, we're simplifying debates a lot. Um, and I'm really sorry about that because debates a lot of times get really competitive and they're really fun when we get to do them in school, in the classroom. And so we're really simplifying uh, this unit and um, shortening it a lot. So. Sorry that you have to miss out on that experience, but I think this will just be easier for everybody. I don't want to overwhelm you at the end of the school year with a big giant project. So um, you will not have partners for the debates like you usually would in school. Um, there's going to be a lot less to do. So when you're learning about the debate process this week, know that you will not be doing the full debate process. We are going to simplify it a lot for you. Um, so this week you're going to be learning about how debates go, um, the process of debates, um, all the components that go into them, but remember in your head that you will not be doing as much as we're telling you uh, in, in like the notes this week. So basically I need you to go into Google, or sorry, into Schoology and find this assignment. Um, it's called Debate Slideshow Note Sheet. It looks like this when you find it. Um, and then you're going to go find the debate notes video. And that is a video made by me, and it looks like this. Um, so you're going to fill out your notes as you watch the video. That's a 15-point assignment, just filling out the notes. If you watch the video, you can pause it and then fill in your notes sheet um, based on what it says in the video. Um, and that'll give you a little more idea and understanding of debates and the whole process of it. Um, that's due by Friday, so make sure to turn it in by Friday. Um, for Thursday, I want you to go to the debates folder um, again and then find the debates introduction folder, just like what you would have had to do for this. Um, read over the debater responsibilities document and watch the debater responsibilities video. Um, the video and the document will tell you all the responsibilities for the negative and affirmative teams um, that you would have if you were doing a full debate. Again, remember that you will not have all of these responsibilities yourself because we're doing distant learning. So just so you understand debates and what all goes into them and what they all entail, that's what you'll be learning about this week. Um, the debate introduction quiz, you can use your notes on it, you can use any materials that you want on it. I'm pretty sure it should be pretty straightforward for you. I believe it's 17 points, and so you need to take that by Friday. So the two things you need to turn in this week are um, the notes that you took based on the video, and then you need to turn in the quiz, so finish the quiz. And um, that's all for this week. Don't let yourself get overwhelmed. Um, take your time. Let me know if you have any questions or you need anything. Um, next week, it says right here, you will be choosing a debate topic. So if any topics kind of stand out to you in your mind while you're working this week, keep that in mind because you'll be picking topics next week. Um, I'll also give you a list of different debate topics so you'll have a list to choose from. Um, multiple people might choose the same topic, which is fine. That'll just be fine for, for this. So let me know what you need. Wish me luck with getting the puppy this weekend, and I will talk to you soon.